in any city, in any country. Go to any construction site or foundry you can get yourself to. When you reach the Overseer, ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of Work. The Overseer will sneer and assault you with a barrage of hideous truths. Do not react and restate your request. He will ask you to wait for a second, as he has to call his boss. At least, that's what he says. He will then leave. Wait for a minute or two. Then a person will walk beside you. He will ask you for the holder of twins. Tell him that the worker is currently away, talking to his boss. Tell him that both of you will have to wait until the warden returns. In that very second, the worker will reappear, seemingly out of nowhere. He will ask you politely to wait here while the other person may follow him. Disobey the warden, for if you wait now, you shall never leave the spot you are standing at. Follow them, pretending that you simply have the same way as them. After a short while, you will reach a paper door. Do not be fooled. This paper is stronger than any metal you have ever seen. The warden will now open the door, letting the other person in. Follow before the paper door closes again, or wherever you are will turn into a house filled with all of your greatest fears, and you will be locked inside. Forever. Should you have followed the other person into the door, both of you will find yourselves in a small paradise. Although you will find everything you like and love, do not touch anything with your hands and arms, for the beauty will then quickly fade away and madness will overcome your mind. Simply follow the path you will see below your feet and do not leave it. The other person will do the same, and he will talk. He will tell you about many things that have happened in his life. Do not talk back, just listen. Neither he nor you want to see what will happen if he should ever stop walking on this path. For hours you will walk and you will have to endure the talking. He will finally complain about having a sore throat and not having anything else to tell you. You will then reach a golden door. It will open. The closer you are, the wider it opens. Enter the door and you will find yourself in an almost pitch black room, lit by only two candles. One of them is beside a rucksack, the other beside a mirror. Walk to the rucksack and lift it, as heavy as it may be. Walk to the mirror. You will now choose your fate. Should the other person already be standing there, you can quickly scream, No matter how hard the work, it will be done. And then smash the mirror if you want to obtain your piece of the puzzle. Should you have destroyed the reflecting item, the other person will scream inhumanly and slowly melt. After a minute, he will be gone, only his shoes being left. Take them, and you will be returned to your home. The shoes are Object 59 of 538. Don't ever put them on. However, should you choose not to scream and destroy the mirror, you will take the other person's place, as he will say, what reflects them, you will then feel unbearable pain, you will slowly die. After a minute, you will be gone and the other person's task will be fulfilled. It is up to you who dies.